hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome to victory fashion up with victoria here today so if you're watching this and you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you subscribe and turn off notification button to see more of my video when i upload it so let's get right to today's video so on today's video as you can see on the thumbnail that is the style this is the inspiration of this this is the inspiration of the style i wanted to make but a little little twist for my yeah this is what i saw and i love and i wanted to do it but different little bit so the first thing that we're going to do is cut the back first you fold your fabric into two yeah just the way i did fold my fabric into two but the thing is that my table is a little bit small so make sure you listen to the voice note that i did to, to my voice so you get what i'm trying to do very well so the first thing that we're going to do is cut a uh, fold our fabric into two then do the a zip casing that is two inches then measure your length the length you want to use and chalk it out just the way you are seeing the way i'm doing it so i measured the length i couldn't show you guys because the video could not capture it so after that you measure your shoulder your back measurements divided by two then for me i'm using eight inches so this is actually my birthday photo shoot dress yeah so after that you make your neck measurement that is i use three by one inches for the back i use three by one inches then you cough it to this that is what i'm actually doing right now so the next thing is we are going to fold the loop one inches from the down so one inches for the down measurements then you show the loop and you the slit this slit is the loop whatever you want to call it then you join it together with the neck measurement that is actually what i'm doing right now i'm so sorry the truck did not show well but you just know how we do it so the next thing we are going to do is measure your and the chest measurement that is the arm measurement i use eight inches then you use your shoulder then after that i measure from my shoulder to my waist measurement and that is 17 inches from my shoulder to my waist measurement is 17 inches then i get down to the waist and hip i used nine inches i used nine inches then i i used my chalk to chopped out the necessary lines for us to do the measurement i'm so sorry for the noise this is just focus on the dress so after chalking it out we are going to do the round way round measurements right now so i hope you guys are hearing what i'm saying so you are going to i do a straight line from the arm hole to get my arm hole line do a straight line to get your cuff for your ammo you measure your bust divided by four and that is how you get it after this we are going to measure the measure your bust divided by four and add two inches allowance to it as you can see that is what i'm doing my bust is 40 divided by four that's 10 and i add two inches to the allowance i'll do the same thing to the waist and butt and the hip too yes so i measure my waist divided by four and had two inches allowance to it that is what i'm doing right now so i'll do the same thing to the then i'll draw the line to the hip the, the bust i've already draft out so i'll do the hip line to divide your hip divided divide your hip by four and add two inches to the allowance because i don't want too much uh, bonky dress so that is what then i use pin to hold it because my table is a little bit small so if i drag it it may spoil the, this thing i'm doing as you can see that is what so i'm going to be cutting it out now so you cut 
the dress out just the way I did it. Um, these days I always forgot to draw my hair more, so I later draw it and shape it out. So I'm going to be using this bag to cut out the front. For the beginner, whenever you want to cut out your front, make sure you remove your two inches allowance for the zip out. That is very important because if you didn't put it out, it will be too big for the front and that you don't want that make sure you put your two inches out so that is what i'm actually doing right now that's what i'm doing right now arranging the dress on top of this thing then i'm going to use office pin to hold it because of if i'm dragging or if i'm dragging or something so now, as you can see i'm ready using your face with the hoodie then i'll cut it out just the way you see it so yeah this is it and you measure three by three for the front i use three by three for the front so that is what i use then i cut it out for the front neckline because so right now this is the bow part so i sh i cut out the bow with i didn't even measure this bow just cut out a four corner of dress that is, is enough for you for whatever how much you want your bow to be big so that is what i did so the next thing that i'm cut i'm measuring 10 10 inches for the front you can see the cape that is in the front i don't know what i can call it i, I should just call it cape that is what i'm actually cutting so i show you guys the bow again so i cut that i actually cut the hand ball i didn't know that i didn't do the video but you just place your hand like you cut it in when you want to cut the hand you you cut it like you want to cut a shaped dress like not straight so the puff will be too much so i cut out the lining just the way you see it but i remove two inches two inches from the lining out though you sew the lining from the down part yes from the down part just the way i did my hand and after that i'm showing you guys how it's going to look then i'll sew the side and i'll sew the side because we are not sewing the neck of the front the reason is because there is one cape inside so i've already finished sewing it as you can see then i'll give it a good press then i i sew the neck of the back though so i'm still uh, sl uh, i'm actually doing the front design as you can see the slits in the front so i already slit i already cut out the one that is shorter and this is the long one i'm just putting a for shape just sharp shape then i put a stay in the both side just the way you're seeing it i put a stay and i iron it to it just the way you are seeing it i put a stay in both side so that is it and i'm cutting it out and i iron it give it a good press that is what i did so after that i'm going to be placing the both sides together and sew it just the way my hand is you know so the neck part because then i'll do the same thing to the longer one because the, the cape in the front is two the one is in the down and the other is in the front so i'm going to be so as you can see i've already so it finished then i will iron it before i iron i want to explain how i'm going to fix it to the front part so you are going to place right side of this or uh, left side whatever you want to use for the left side you are going to place it on the left side of the main fabric then you not you sew it and notch it and turn it to the right side as you can see the way i'm doing so you sew it to the other side to the other side and you notch it and top stitch it and turn it to the right side that is just how you are going to do the first cape then the second one as you can see i've done it then i'll give it a good press but the second one i'm going to fix it inside as you can see you put the edges inside then you sew it 
down so it will be longer than the first one it will be longer than the first one so for the bow i put normal stay and stay the one that is going to be so after that i'm going to just place it in the front of the fabric just the way i did just the way you are seeing right now so i'm done with the front i'm going to be placing the back side and i'm going to fix the zip to the back side and uh, measure the zip zip size and put the zip and so join the back with the front together if you want to know how to join the shoulder i have video a lot of video that shows how to join your shoulder together so i'm going to fix my zip to it right now and i'll join it and join the side together that is what this is all about i hope you understand if you don't comment make sure you are com make sure you comment down below guys so I look at a hand then you turn it that's how to join the shoulder just how you join your normal shoulder then i'll show this side that is all so this is the final look i'm still going to wear it so you guys will see thank you so much for watching this page and if you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you subscribe and turn off notification but this is of my video see you guys so for the ah i forgot guys for the hand you're going to put elastic in the hand you put elastic casing and you put elastic and join it with your shoulder shoulder line you shape it and join it to leave buff and it's just like you do for fun thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video bye